Hello, beautiful friends here on YouTube. Updates has maybe never been something that we, we really were serious about or followed up with here. So it's been a long time and I don't even remember the last time we were here, but maybe it's a good time to have an update. And as we are all aware, the world has gone a little bit crazy. And for many of us, it is not quite that easy, but for many of us, it's also very clear about the choice point that we are on and maybe the opportunity we have to really fully awake and to stand firm and strong in our ascension, in our heart consciousness. And so, this is possibly the biggest update. Yes, things seem to get really tight now. And no, I don't like it. I can't pretend that I like it. And maybe for many years, I have rejected to see that. But now we all don't have another choice, but just being here. And it helps when we really fully go into our presence, into our I am, into our heart and really be fully conscious about this choice that we have every moment. The choice between staying in an old world, in an old normal, that has a lot of censoring, <laughs> apart from being controlled and also being controlled by fear and from fear. So this is something that we really need to see very clearly. And yes, it has been going on for possibly thousands of years. And on the other hand, we have the opportunity to stay in love, in unity, in presence, in a truth that really comes from within. The heart is the key to what is happening now in this world. And it gets very tough for many people as it's sometimes a decision of leaving the life that they had lived for 10, 15, 20, 30 years behind. As it seems to be part of an old matrix, domestication, mental slavery, that has benefited and that has given you plenty of opportunities, but that no longer resonates with your truth. So we're really living in a time where we make the choice to step from a 3D that we have all been part of into a 5D world, into a consciousness that was really based on control and fear and consumerism, big pharma, all this kind of stuff, media, and into a more sovereign way of life. Now, we cannot really live in isolation. On some levels, we tried that. We live a little bit outside and this week was really challenging because the neighbors decided to cut down their beautiful forest. I would have loved to buy that piece of land, but the price was just outrageous. And it has been very challenging to see, to see, to hear these trees falling and with them a whole ecosystem. Trees have birds and other animals call at their home. And so this has been really hitting home for us. It's just next door. What was beautifully covered is now almost open except of course for the part that's on our side. So, so yes, we are choosing at this moment between being conscious, being one with nature and vitality, understanding life and understanding there's a new relationship for us to live with nature, with the planet, and of course also with the universe. There is a different way or we just continue the old normal and the old. There is no one to blame. There is no one to judge. 
they would know better. They wouldn't do it. So this is really also a time of acceptance. We cannot judge somebody who doesn't have the consciousness, who hasn't awakened yet. They are where they are. And we just need to really continue being in love. So this is one update. The other one, we have spent a lot of time to work on a collective level with some very beautiful friends around the planet, which is very beautiful, to really help dissolving, transmuting these collectives, these collective energies that have held us for thousands of years. So it's been a real pleasure to work with all these beautiful people around the world so that we individually have a better choice, an easier choice. Because as long as we are held in this collective consciousness, that is the old matrix, it's very difficult to step off a trauma triangle that we have lived all of our lives. So this is a lot of what we have been doing. So we have been also engaging with individual people, doing private sessions, private journeys. We are getting the website ready, despite all the disturbance and the school is actually just about to be fully ready and online. So yes, you will hear more of us. Still not about commercial stuff, still not about selling you anything, still not about being an influencer or whatever seems to be popular. We are here to open pathways and praxis for you to find your own path and to make your own choices in this time of ascension, of evolution, or whatever we want to call it. We're a bridge to help you link to what resonates with you. The indigenous and the Atlanteans and the intergalactic councils and the councils of heartlights. We are with them all and we are here to be that bridge for your own connection not ours. The real guru is within. While I appreciate that after many, many years of, of looking and seeking for a guru, one showed up almost two years ago, one and a half years ago, very grateful. But the real guru is within. The real power is within. So we are here to help you explore your potential, your truth, your choice. So that's the update. And I hope we can be a little bit stronger here on YouTube. I feel it's a nice media. I feel there's more than what is happening at this current moment. So please feel free to, to drop us a line, to make a comment, to let us know where you are at so that we can build a relationship this is what we are all about. And let's see, maybe we can meet sometime soon as we are launching one of our new Beyond Horizon events, which is heart branding. So if you are looking at figuring out who you are from the heart, maybe this is something for you. Looking forward, really, to connect with you, to know who you are. We're not looking for millions of people. We're looking for some real heart connections, heart to heart. So if you resonate, let us know and let us connect. See you soon.